good to be back again. As I told you that we also have mushroom stew today. This is a new recipe. And I've tried it a couple of times and I enjoyed it and I was complimented about on, on it. So I thought I would share it with you. And this serves six people. And if they eat as much as I do, then you need four people. And you get one and a half pound of breast of chicken, one bunch of green onions, and you chop them to, not too small, but to this size. You've got one pound of sour cream, and you've got four cups of mushroom. You cut the mushrooms in a bigger size. You don't want the mushroom, in, you don't want to slice it. You just cut it. You've got about one whole uh, small uh, onion that I've chopped, some garlic, and we've got also about uh, one cup of uh, chopped parsley. So let's go to the kitchen and see what we can do with this. So we've got here oil, and I'm going to saute the onion. And one spoon of garlic. If you recall, in the last video when I was mixing garlic and onion, I told you that I add garlic later. The reason for that is because I want a brown onion. So by that time, the garlic would have been burned. But here, I don't want brown onion. Salt, pepper, and all these is uh, just you need to use it to taste because some people don't like too much oil, some people don't like too much salt. <clears throat> Why did I use a wider pan to do this stew? Because this is a stew that is going to take only 15 minutes for it to cook, and this would be an ideal to for people who work and don't have much time to spend for cooking. You can cook your rice and in 15 minutes you will have a mushroom stew. Because breast of chicken, you only saute the rest of chicken, you don't let the chicken really cook. Because the more you cook the breast of chicken, the harder and toughest it, it will get. So you just need to uh, uh, just Toss it with some oil and garlic and onion, and then you've got it made. So now I'm going to add my mushroom. Right now, I go by where I place things. I'm the type of a guy that I put everything in its place. So my salt and uh, thermic container will change. So that's why I use that. And so, sometimes this happens in life. You're used to something, so you keep doing it, and then you find out that 
it was a wrong job because of wrong event or wrong situation. Just go with it and remedy it. Okay, now. Now I'm going to... Huh? Remedy, right? I should put more oil right now, but I won't do that because I'm going to need to add the sour cream and sour cream has enough fat in it. But just want to make sure that turn the heat down and now really love it. Uh -huh. See, I see. The music. Uh, this is the music. Uh, and I'm dancing with that music. Honestly, that's how I feel. Just melting this sour cream with these. Then, just listen. So I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. Okay, this is going to take only about 10 minutes for it to cook. And we have our rice ready. So now I'm going to let this boil come to boil. Because I have to saute green onions. for the garnishing the dish. taste you can add milk if not this is just fine you let this simmer for 10 minutes cover it medium heat now I'm going to take care of the onion I don't want the onion to really cook. I just want it to get a little bit warm. And I also heat up the French fries. Beautiful. So, I guess we can just go ahead and do the presentation at the same time because we are already so cheers to life so now I need to see what I want what fish do I want to put in as I said I 
price is great. you see, we are working in a kitchen, so kitchen doesn't need to be spotless while you cook it. So, excuse my dishes and all that. I normally when I have friends over, we just enjoy our togetherness and the next day is the cleanup day. So we are ready and I'm going to dish the rice, you can turn up the stew, sometimes you have to need more than two hands. I put parsley in here, but I think I want to add a little bit more, a little dairy. And I use some for garnishing it. Later. Okay. Onion is done. Rice is done. So we are going to get this pot ready so I can start. So we're going to do rice. You can show your talent if you use the most inexpensive rice and turn it out to the best. So always in life, get the worst and make it the best that it can be. Come, this is the rice. Now everybody's going to ask for Tani. So let's see how the Tani turns out. You see, do you hear that? I can hear it. <laughs> the sound of it. Wow. Look at that. Look at the tadic. Guys, 
get you a plate and go for it. Don't we do it now? Yes, we're going to eat it up now. Plate the house? Right here. Right here. Right here. Napkin. Napkin is right there on the cloth, right there. You want that is it? Did you find it? Yes. Now comes the power. Add the green onion. One layer of the green onion. That looks scrumptious. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, Thank you so much. Bon appetit. Thank you. Why don't you go ahead and taste some and let us know how you like it. What taste. I really like. Mmm, mm, look at that. Wow, look at that. I'm going to tell you. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> I love the tadik that has all these flavors in it, the sour cream, yogurt, yogurt, uh, saffron. Yes, saffron, yes. 
and the crunchiness is Thank unbelievable. You. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Art okay. of Tabi. Okay, come come and join us and mm. thank you for being with us today. Thank you. And then the way you did these fries, look at them. Mm -hmm. They it's are beautiful. so crunchy. Perfect. Please tell us one more time how you did this. <laughs> <laughs> I peel the potato and then mm -hmm. I grate the potato and really wash the potato over and over. This is my side of French fries. Uh -huh. This is Keshar's kitchen, that's yeah. where I started it. And then uh, what did you do? Then I would uh, add some salt to the water and the last, I would keep washing it so yeah. they get the starch out. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I would wrap it in a towel and get a nice child okay. and then I deep fry it. Oh, <laughs> it's delightful. Yes. Thank you so much. Go ahead and enjoy.